And it's now time for the Call of Duty Black Ops Grand Final here at EGL4. We're live in Emirates on Twitch.tv. Big round of applause for the Grand Final right now. Bigger than that, come on! On the left-hand side of the stage, representing the mainland, Ferrico. The booze reign in. With the three nil advantage on the right side of the stage, Fanatic MSI. It's time now to get the Black Ops Grand Final here underway to lead you through the event of the weekend. Rel, Tony, and Fuiz. Big round of applause for the three commentators. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm in a British sandwich right now. <laughs> I like it too, I'm not gonna lie. Yep, so the grand finals now of EGL4 between Fariko Yin and Fnatic MSI. Fnatic MSI with the higher seed, they are the favorites to win this. Uh, the situation, Tony, between these teams. Well, we're going to go into a best out of 11 game with Fnatic with a 3-0 advantage. Uh, the first map's going to be capture the flag on fire and range, and uh, we're going to get this started up now. Yep, so we are going to get a quick view of the players now. Yeah, break it down, Rel. And here we go. On the very end, to my far, far right, it is Fariko T1. Moving slowly across, we can see Torres. Continuing along the Fariko lineup, we have Fariko Rush. And finally, closest to me now is Fariko Rev, representing Holland as they enter EGL4 Grand Finals on a 3 0 deficit. They qualified through the losers bracket and successfully won all their loser bracket games. And then we have, of course, myself, Imperial Rel, sandwiched between us, as I said before. We've got Fwiz. Moving on to yeah. Tony, to the very, very far end of me. We're going to move on to the man, the myth, the legend. We have Vapes. <laughs> Vapes is a crowd favourite. Continuing across now, the ex-royalty player, we have Bissell. <laughs> Moving further along. A lot along. of banter going on here, yeah. Fnatic MSI, Toby, long-serving member for Fnatic. Alongside him, we have MC, also known as Mac. This is a highly anticipated game. I mean, Fwiz, you've seen Fnatic play on the stream, maybe not for Rico, but what are your predictions for this? Man, Fnatic has been looking good all day long. You gotta, obviously, they're gonna be the crowd pleasers here, but you gotta give it up for Rico because those guys, uh, they deserve to be here, man. I mean, they had a hard fought battle. They 3 0 to Enigma, which was a strong team in this tournament, knocking out some other teams too along the way. So you gotta give it up for them. I mean, this has been a crazy tournament the entire time. I think uh, if anybody had predictions, I can't imagine they were too accurate because we had a lot of upsets that went down, and Fariko making it all the way here, squaring off against an uh, international known team like. Like Fnatic is going to be an amazing matchup. Yep. Um, and we are going to try and kick this game off as soon as possible now. As we go into capture the flag firing range. I mean, we were talking about upsets. Tony, you, you know yourself, some of the big teams have been knocked out very early on. Yeah, uh, when Infused uh, got beat off in period two, that was definitely... It was big for the whole tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, it just changed the aspect of everything. I mean, nobody expected them just to go out there and 3-0 them like that. But that one happened. Apex got now knocked out. And then Infused actually got knocked out themselves. And then, well, to then see other big teams go out, such as Foreign. I mean, who would have expected this final lineup here? Yeah. No, it, it wasn't expected. For Rico, all the heavy underdogs. And they're going into this 3-0 behind. It's going to be best of 11. So that means it's first to six. They, they've got an uphill struggle. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a, a crazy group of guys right now that is watching this matchup, man. It's all smiles right now. Yeah, on the very end there, we've got the head admin. Shout out to Razor. <laughs> <laughs> Next to the Fnatic MSI lineup, he's going to be refereeing this match and making sure everything goes according to plan. You can see that they've fitted that t shirt on. Oh, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's a big shirt. Nice, there. And, nice a and double tight. XL, man. Yeah. Nice and snug. <laughs> yeah. 
I just yeah. warm at least. So, I'm going to get this game underway. Yep, yeah, you guys are setting up the match and we can kick this off, man. Kick this off as soon as possible, just waiting for a host. And we should be, get right, be able to get right into this. Um, so for the America viewers, it is capture the flag, demolition and search and destroy. The V for vapes in the audience. <laughs> He's got a lot of fans. Stop. And just notifying Perico now to start the game. <laughs> a little bit of confusion there. But while we are getting onto this, so I mean predictions, we obviously know who the favourites are. The number three seed, who, despite their seed, have been a little bit underestimated, I do feel. Uh, yeah, definitely coming into the event, a lot of people. This guy was. <laughs> this guy's been. No, Fnatic man. was gonna get like knocked down, like finish twelfth, man. No, okay, I did not say that one. <laughs> yeah, something like I that. I wanted to change I, my prediction. I saw it on the Deserto forums, man. You must have deleted okay, the post. Okay, I, I do apologize. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Uh, for me, for they played exceptionally too. well, though, even yeah. with the team changes that they've made and all that stuff coming through here. So you just felt with the team changes that they made, they couldn't replicate the success that they had under that lineup. But now coming into it, they picked up two players who have just come in and absolutely they ran the event. And Bissell and Vapes, Vapes especially as a crowd favorite. I mean, yeah, Vapes is gone. It's just Vapes goes big. It's going to kick off here in about 20.